Congrats on the fourth season. Uh, the show just feels like it's just getting bigger and bigger every time. What's happening this season? What can we look forward to? Oh, my gosh. We're, we're having so much fun. There's still big laughs, but we're actually diving into some really deep topics yeah. this year, which is really hard, as you guys know, in comedy to tackle. But I feel like comedy is the best way to do it. You know, you have the tension and release, and the more tension you create, the bigger the jokes are. And so when we're coming from a real place, it's been really fun. We're exploring a lot of sociopolitical issues. It's Traditionally, you shoot the show in front of a live studio audience. How is it feeling without one? And do you know when you'll get one back? Well, we don't have a live audience, but we do have people that are paid. They're called professional laughers. Ah. I love so, that. which is amazing. Is they amazing. get paid to laugh at you, but then you feel hilarious, and it's kind of like false confidence because mm. you feel like everything you do is hilarious, and then you go home at night, and your bits <laughs> don't work, and yes. you get really angry, yes. and I want to go back to the people. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do people actually have to audition to be professional laughters, laughers then? You know, their laughs are very similar. Like, I've noticed, like, it's not like someone's like, ha, ha, you know, there's yeah, yeah, not, yeah. like, a real yeah. distinct laugh. Yeah. But, but I feel like um, so maybe just, they So do. it's a chuckle. It's a chuckle. <laughs> but it's got to be good for your immune system, right? <laughs> Yours is a little creepy. It's a little creepy. I'm like, ah! <laughs> That'd be me. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. I mean, and you must meet fans everywhere you go. You, you must be you have so many fans of so many different huge projects. Like, what's the most extreme fan reaction that oh, you've no. ever had? Um, I did. I did have a particularly weird experience once in in Disneyland. Actually, and this was a long time ago. This was this was uh, sort of just during Lord of the Rings times. And and um, well, we were just outside the Pirate, Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And, and this and this um, this young girl, she must have been about twelve or thirteen. She she recognised me and she just started <gasps> getting really teary, really te teared up. Aww. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And she came and she <laughs> and she put put her arms around my neck. And uh, and then she said, you know, I love this character. I love this character so much. And I was kind of, oh, that's, that's so sweet. And I was kind of looking for her family to see where they were, just to yeah. make sure she wasn't on her own, you know. And then and then suddenly, she, and then she kind of went into a lock and gripped my neck and wouldn't let go. And, oh wow! And I, I was like, and 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 then and I was just like, this, oh, I'm so sorry that you're feeling like this. I'm, you know, and I'm like, where is the family? Where is the, the family? <laughs> Like, right now, I need the family. I need the family right now. And then, and they, and they, and then I kind of was looking around, and then there were. It ended up basically. Basically, this went on for what seemed like a lifetime. And then, there, but there were eight of her family members all trying to pull her off, and she wouldn't let go. <laughs> no. And she was around, and I was like, you know, I was going, get off, my God, get off. Oh well, that's why she liked it. Because yeah, yeah. it was she was making you do Colin's yes, exactly. voice. You're that's like, exactly Mickey? what it was. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody.